man. So lunch was really good. It was really nice to spend my dad's birthday with him. Uh, I haven't been home in two years. All right, so we're at Flying Fish. I'm gonna get some seafood on. All right, so we have fried calamari. A little spicy peppers, this looks really good, guys. Oh my gosh. Fish and chips. Yeah. Thanks so much. So we got fish and chips, pretty proper. The chips don't look proper, but this fish does. And we got a crab sandwich. Mm. And today happens to be my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, Lola. Oh, guess, guess how old he is. <laughs> 74. Oh, man. Yeah. Zuni, Sunlu Kwaila. Baba. Oh, shit, shit. Okay. How hot is it? Oh. It's a house, isn't it? I'm going to put it on the floor. Yeah. Hey, Omni. Guys, I would say that out of all the restaurants I've had on this trip, this has been the best. Definitely drive out to Half Moon Bay. It's legit. The funny thing is, the service is almost too good. <laughs> too good. <laughs> like, like seriously, we, we've sat here for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and like five, they come up to us five times asking, is everything okay? We're like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> but that's, 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 that's America for you. Like, the service is like... This is my good. favorite, the crab beef sandwich. Okay. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. It's very delicious. I'm glad you like it. So, yeah, it's funny, like, it's like good service in America. It's like they have to come up to you <laughs> every five minutes, but like everything, I'm like, yeah, man, everything's okay. Just stop bothering me. <laughs> let me just, let me eat, peace. And, <laughs> and you have to be polite to them. So like every time you have to stop eating, like, everything is good, thank you. <laughs> While in Ukraine, nobody comes up to you ever. If you need something, you say like, uh, you know? And maybe they still don't come they up. They might come, they might not yeah. come in, yeah. But, yeah. That's uh, American for you guys. Hi. Thank you so much. Ashley, can you take a photo for us? Yeah. From uh, over there? Uh, just press the white button. Ready? One, two, and three. Uh, happy birthday. Thank you. Okay, okay. Happy birthday to the best dad in the world. Man, appreciate it. Of course, yes, every day. Happy birthday. Yeah. So I guess these machines do exist. They're just this, literally the first time I've seen it in one week. So I'm glad they're coming to uh, the US. 10 years later, but they were years funnier. Later. <laughs> it's really nice to spend my dad's birthday with him. Uh, I haven't been home in two years. You know, normally we spend all the holidays together. And you know, honestly, birthdays don't actually matter that much to my dad. You know, it's more just, you know, any time that we see each other. But the fact that I didn't see him for two years and he's getting older, it meant a lot to, to be here in person. So I'm really happy I came back. Um, it's hard, you know, when your parents get old, you know, you see them change, you see them deteriorating. I mean, literally, he's getting shorter and shorter every year. You know, his memory's getting worse. So, it's a hard life, you know. Anyone who has aging parents, I'm sure you guys understand. Uh, yeah, but it reminds me I got to see him more often, you know. Because even though it's nice to FaceTime and, you know, chat with them. I, I, I talk to him literally twice a week, so, you know. They know what's happening in my life. I see them all the time, but it's different when you're in person. It really is. Big shout out to this restaurant though. Like really, really good. Like I would say, maybe one of the best places in California, in the US. It's funny, we didn't even mention this. 
two blocks away. We got a flat tire. So now we gotta go change it. I guess it'll be a present to my, my parents because it's kind of flat anyways. So fortunately, two blocks away, there was a tire shop with a good review. It's called Phil's. Unfortunately, they don't have the tires in stock today and they're completely uh, busy anyways. So we called AAA, but it's gonna be an hour and a half to take us somewhere. So we decided to put on the spare, but my dad's car, for whatever reason, my mom's car is missing the tools. Luckily, these guys are nice enough to help us out. Perfectly on my dad's birthday, these guys are just helping us out, change out the spare. Really appreciate it. Because if it wasn't for them, we'd be screwed. Look at this huge gash on the side. And this is so much faster than us trying to jack it up ourselves, so. Yeah. Aaron, you're enough for us as well. Thank you for sir. I'm gonna drive 20 miles back to San Francisco. What's crazy is right next to this tire chain spot, we recognize this building from a long time ago. And I didn't realize it's where my sister got married. San Benito restaurant. Oh my God. How crazy is this? We haven't seen this place in so many years. This is definitely where my sister got married. I think this was it. All right, so we got the spare on now. We'll go and change it somewhere from Costco. It's not very often you see me driving. Actually, I don't, you've probably never seen me drive. So, this is uh, my first time in two years. I had bad luck with the <laughs> tire popping, but I swear it wasn't my fault. It's just, it just happened. But how beautiful is this drive? It's really nice. Take a look. So as you can see, I'm back home, but there's a couple things I wanted to say at the end of this video. Uh, first, big happy birthday to my dad. It was so nice being back in person with them. Uh, I think as our parents get older, sometimes, you know, it's like life passes us so quickly, right? Like as kids, we're used to seeing them every single day. And then as we get older, as we move, things kind of drift apart. And I didn't realize I was gonna tear up so much. I, I don't know if you guys really noticed it because I stopped filming. But when, you know, like we had the cake and uh, whether it be the ice cream, whatever it was. And I was like, man, it's really nice to be back home like with my parents and seeing them in, in person. And even though my parents look young, my dad, like he's really aging, you know? Literally every few years that I see him, or every year that I see him, it looks like he's he's aged five or ten years, you know. A uh, little secret, I'm sure he won't mind uh, me sharing, but he dyes his hair. Uh, you know, normally it would be like gray or white, right? So he looks a little bit younger because of that. But just in general, like they try to exercise. My mom is very healthy. You know, she's uh, a you know bit younger than my dad, but just energetically, she's much uh, you know younger. But my dad's really aging. So it's tricky because I'm sure people are going to comment on this saying, Johnny, you should move back home. Uh, you should spend more time with your parents as they're, as they're getting older. And that is true. You know, we should all spend as much time with our parents as possible, you know, because they raised us, you know, we love them. They love us. And that is one possibility. The problem is we all, like that's kind of the Asian way of thinking or the fetal child uh, way of thinking. And you're not wrong, right? But at the same time, I know for me, I am miserable when I'm living at home. Like I love my parents, but the if I lived in that house with my parents and I saw them every single day, like it would not be, you know, just pure bliss, right? We, you know, we were, we were very different people. Um, 
with the very different ways of living, you know, different mentalities, not just because, you know, of the age difference, but also culturally we're very different. And I just like, I know I wouldn't want to be happy living at home. So I could move back to San Francisco nearby uh, and just see them more often. But I, I, honestly, I'm not happy living there. And so the choices are, I can either be miserable while living close to them and seeing them more often, or I can live where I want to live, be happy and not see them as much. You know, ironically, when I lived in Los Angeles, when I went to school um, down there, we were in the same state, but I actually only saw them twice a year anyways, because of, uh, you know, the distance. It was like an eight hour drive. You know, technically it's only an hour flight, but you go to the airport an hour early, you gotta take an hour to get out of the airport and, um, you know, get, get back to your house. So it ends up being kind of an ordeal anyways. So I only saw them twice a year for holidays. And aside from the last two years, because of the travel restrictions and COVID, I was seeing them twice a year anyways. Like normally once a year, I would always go home at least once a year, uh, back to the US to visit. And then I would try to fly them out and meet them somewhere, wherever I was. So one year I flew them out to, to Thailand, um, or maybe my sister paid for the flight, I don't, I don't remember, but I booked a big, I think it was like a, you know, big villa like with a private pool right by the beach and that was nice you know it was like it wasn't that expensive it was like you know a couple hundred bucks um maybe like 700 bucks for the week or something but it was like a big place my sister came with her husband and my niece and nephew my mom and dad came i think we had three bedrooms a big living room a big outside area pool and it was nice and it was like not that much more than if i had just flown back to the u.s Funny fact, in the one week I was back in the US, I spent over a thousand dollars just you know going out to eat and doing things. So it's expensive going home. So that's part of it. Is I guess the question is, is it better for me to be the you know good son and live nearby and spend as much possible time with them uh, while being unhappy, not living my life, spending a ton of money, or is it better for me to be an independent person, uh, live the life I want to live, enjoy living, uh, kind of the, you know, being an adult and then not only having enough like mental clarity and freedom to be able to talk to them in a happy way, uh, you know, on, on FaceTime or online for, you know, twice a week and then visiting, um, once or twice a year or seeing them once or twice a year and then having enough money to be able to actually pay for the property taxes uh, and then send them money, that wouldn't have been possible. I mean, I'll give you kind of the extreme example. I, a guy I went to college with, university with, he did the good son thing. After college, he worked for a year, he had a good, you know, good job, but then his parents wanted him to quit and move back home with them so he could work in the restaurant. It's been like 15, plus years, he's still working at the restaurant and he's still, I think, living at home with his parents. I, I doubt he's that happy, but he's doing the good son thing. And I wonder if the parents would be more happy with him living there and seeing him every day, or if he had gone on and had his own life, built a career, earned enough money to be able to take care of them and, you know, help them instead of him, you know, basically living with them, right? Like. If I stayed in San Francisco, I would guarantee I would not be as successful as I am today. If I didn't have the, you know, the drive of moving, moving away, you know, starting a business, um, you know, learning on my own, making connections, traveling, seeing the world, I never would have been successful. I would have had like a normal, mediocre job in San Francisco, and I would have spent all the money because it's expensive to live there. There's no way I would have been able to afford to pay the property tax, you know, for the last, what, five plus years now, seven years now, and also be able to send them a thousand dollars a month to help them with their retirement. There, there's no chance. So either I can be a leech or I don't even want to say a leech, but I want to be a dependent uh, where I'm living there using their money, eating their food, <laughs> you know, uh, 
and basically not contributing, or I could be on my own and be able to contribute financially from afar. Now, there's no perfect answer. There's two big questions on that, right? Is what is what is the answer? You know, for me, if I lived in the U.S., I'd probably still see them twice a year, anyways. Maybe I can try to go more often, see them three or four times a year. Or I can live out here in Ukraine, uh, where I bought my apartment, and I can still see them twice a year. Maybe what I can do is try to see them more. You know, maybe I can try to see them three times a year. Um, you know, I want them to come visit me in Ukraine uh, when the situation dies down and the weather turns good. Uh, the goal was for them to come out kind of, you know, in September um, when, the, when, the, when it's not as hot, uh, but before it's winter and they could see my apartment, come spend a week or two. So, you know, I will definitely see them in the next six months. You know, and for me, I think that's uh, the plan for now, you know. Uh, knock on wood, I hope their health stays uh, good. But I don't know, like, what can I do? I'm not a, like, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a living nurse, you know? So I would rather have of them have moved out here, I've offered, or moved back to Taiwan where they're born or, my, or they grew up. Um, but they don't want to do that, you know? They're, they lived in that house in San Francisco that I showed you guys for the last 35 years. That's home for them, they're comfortable and they're like, they're like, son, I didn't work two jobs or four jobs between the, the, the two of us, you know, over time on weekends and save every single penny that we've ever earned, you know, and paid a mortgage for the last 30 years just so we can just leave as soon as we're done paying it. Like, they're like, this is our home, not leaving. You know, we're, we're comfortable here. We're used to the weather. We you know, are used to the, the places around, you know, they're, that's, that's their choice, you know? So I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of opinions. Um, you know, if you have something to say, you know, comment below, but it's, as far as I'm concerned right now, I think maybe it's a little bit selfish, but I think it's good for me to be happy because if I know I'm not gonna be happy living in San Francisco or in California, then I shouldn't be there. Because if I was a parent, as much as I would like to see my children more often, as like as much as I would like to be closer to them, at the end of the day, I realize they're their own person, and they need to live their life, uh, and they need to be happy. You know, I would imagine that my parents would want me to be happy, you know, more than they would want to see me. Like, but who knows, right? Maybe we can have both. So uh, I'm curious what your thoughts are. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was very kind of a intimate share to be honest. I wanted to record this. I have no videos with my dad. And I know, you know, one day, right? Knock on wood, it's gonna be a long time from now. Hopefully in, you know, 20 plus years, right? But who knows? This might be one of my few memories with my dad while he's, you know, young and healthy and able to walk. Um, and I wanted to record this and keep it as a memory. So this was my, my chance and I'm happy to, to have it here on YouTube so it'll be safe forever. Even if I move and knock on wood, lose my phone or my laptop or something, it'll be here. So if you haven't made any videos with your parents while they're healthy, please do so. You don't need to upload it publicly to, to a channel like this. You can just put it on you know, YouTube as unlisted or as private, uh, but put it somewhere because I promise you, there's a lot of people in the world who are gonna wish that they have memories like this that they can watch again. One day when it's uh, when it's too late, because all of us are gonna die one day. Sad as it you know it sounds, but that's that's the truth. You know, all of us are gonna be gone one day, and all we can really do is uh, make the most of it, enjoy, and build our memories, live our best lives, be happy. You know, as my dad said, the two most important things are to be happy, happy, and to be healthy. So, happy birthday, Dad. I love you, I love you, Mom, as well. Uh, and all of you, thank you so much. Hope to see you in the next one. There's gonna be one last video uh, 
not to spoil anything, but if you watch my other videos, you already know, but the last video is gonna be of me packing and leaving San Francisco to go back to Ukraine. So keep an eye out for that in a few days. Take care, guys. Baba, happy birthday. Thank you. Okay, hey, you she wants to go to the house. She wants to go to the house. She to go to 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 Happy birthday to you. Wow, wow. Hey, 